Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a random read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, random read. I'm going to try to use the natural light here. Also, um, we, this is going to be a straight cardamancy reading. Okay, we do have uh, the gypsy uh, cards here, as you know, I'm using them as an oracle. Um, but yeah. Well, let's see what's going to happen, right? This is a random read, which meant, means that I was guided to do it and guided to do it this way, okay? And it's timeless, but, you know, you guys remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life, okay? Now, the cards I'm using today are the Bicycle Prestige deck. I'm going to put it down like that because I think you can see it better, okay? The Bicycle Prestige deck. Um... That's what we're using for the reading. And of course, we have the gypsy cards. Okay? So I don't know that I'm going to be holding the cards up for you because I think because the darkness is behind me and the light is in front of me, I'm just going to set them down. I will repeat what the cards are, um, but we're going to have to do it that way. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so let's get started. Uh, we're just going to go, uh, you know what, let's get the, let's get the gypsy cards first, right? So we can find out what, you know, what's going on basically, right? All right. So what is going on for this reading that I was guided to do with these cards? What do you have to tell us today, gypsy, right? What do you have to tell us today? Uh, well, obviously, all the messages are kind of coming from spirit, but it might be a gypsy spirit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you guys. But uh, what does the gypsy cards uh, have to tell us today in regards to this situation? I don't take any of these in reverse, just to tell you guys uh, right now. I'm going to be taking them all in the upright. And three is usually the amount of cards that I, you know, will usually grab just to get an idea of what's going on. Okay. I still do like to go in order into which they fell out, okay? So somebody here, oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> somebody here is definitely sad over the loss, uh, over a loss, right? Now, this could be somebody, could be a widow, right? Maybe they lost their spouse. This could be that somebody also has just lost something, a relationship. It's just come to an end. It's dead, it died, it's no more, okay? All right. So the next card is, oh, look, unexpected joy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Unexpected joy. So yeah, that's cool. You know, look at this guy. So somebody could be finding money. Yeah. So it could be, uh, you know, the lottery. Um, it could be from an inheritance. Um, somebody might even, somebody you haven't seen in a long time might come back and be like, Hey, remember all that money I borrowed from you? Well, here it is. You know, it could be something like that. Uh, but after this ending of sadness and grief and all this of whatever it was that somebody lost, they're going to have some sort of unexpected joy. Varatlam <laughs> Orom. That's the word in Hungarian. Uh, Varatlan uh, Orom, you know, I'm half Hungarian, you guys, so, <laughs> you know, let's see how you say widow. Oh, yeah, uh, you know, my, my Hungarian's not that great. Neither is my Spanish. I'm half Hungarian, half Mexican. So, you know, I get the best of both worlds, right? The gypsy and the Santa Maria. <laughs> no, I don't know, but possibly who knows, right? All right. We also have... Ecclesiastic. So this is about, you know, somebody, you know, becoming more in tune with spirit or realizing that spirit really does exist. 
maybe can't see them, can't see the angels, can't see, you know, your ancestors, but they're there, you guys, I swear they are. And somebody might be actually uh, coming to realize that. The only reason, I'll tell you what, you guys, the only reason I say it like that and I believe so strongly in it is because before I didn't really give religion a thought but now that I'm like all up on the nuts, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my God, you, it opens your eyes to all kinds of shit. You'll be out and about and thinking, and then spirit will throw something in front of your face that will trigger you. And you'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> and then you'll be like, yeah, you know, so spirit might actually be, um, throwing things in people's face to say, hey, I'm here. I've been here the whole time and I've been watching you. Ooh, that's terrible if that's what spirit's saying to someone, especially if that someone was doing bad stuff. Mm, darn, you know, but somebody here, something happened to them, right? It could have been this loss that happened to them and that loss might have thrown oh, or, okay, I'm getting a story from this. You guys look. So somebody lost something. Oh, woe is me, right? Yeah, we all go through it. I'm not making fun, okay? Somebody lost something. Oh, woe is me, right? They healed. They went through that. And, you know, this is not something as at their fault, right? It just happened naturally. This wasn't something that this person did. Whatever they lost, I don't know how they lost it or whatever, or maybe they did do it. I don't know, but somebody here lost something. They didn't want to lose it. They were sad over the loss or they had to let it go or it had to die out. But because they did that, some sort of unexpected joy happened to them because when this happened, they might have lost every freaking thing. When they lost, when that one thing came to an end, everything came to an end. It's kind of like, I'm getting it's kind of like one of those tower moments. Everything came crashing down once they lost that one thing. This could be male or female. It doesn't even have to be a spouse. It could be a friend, uh, a relative, a relationship, a job. But somebody lost something that's dead and gone. And once, you know, you know, they mourned over it, some sort of unexpected joy came in because when they lost that thing, they lost everything everything i'm talking about they didn't even have one penny in their pocket yeah they may not even have had a car to sleep in at night like under under the wash under the river or under the you know <laughs> yeah i call it a wash because i'm from uh los angeles so we called you know the the zanja there, whatever it's called, is a wash. We go to the, the wash, you know, it's where the water drains, right? In other places, it's like rivers and lakes and all that stuff. But in Los Angeles, because it's so concrete over there, it like lacks nature in that area. It's the zanja or the river that was used to go through there is actually, you know, people refer to it as the wash. Okay. So <clears throat> I don't even know why I just said all that. It, it threw me off. Anyhow, it might resonate with somebody, whatever I just said. Um, but somebody receives this. Uh, oh, I remember somebody may have had to sleep out by the river or under the wash or under the, the freeway underpass or something like that. Somebody may, may have been that far down after this loss. Right. And so all of a sudden something happens and they receive this unexpected joy. And it's that joy that triggers them to believe because maybe when they lost this, they started praying, Oh God, please. I'm so sorry. Whatever. Asking for repentance, right? Because basically God showered them with karma from whatever they have done. Right? So from there, um, the prayer began. Somebody may have been in solitude for a substantial amount of time during this time, but something turned around for them and they received unexpected joy it doesn't always necessarily mean money. That's what the picture is, uh, is showing, 
you know, the treasure and it could unexpected joy could be even a child. Unexpected joy could be money. Unexpected, uh, um, unexpected joy could be somebody lending you a helping hand, taking you to the shelter to help you get back on your feet. Unexpected joy is getting the courage up to go to social services and get the help you need. Utilize it the right way. The right way. Let me repeat that. Utilizing social services the right way. Right? Not popping out kids so you can get a bigger check. Not uh, trying to get that bigger check so you can buy that Cadillac. No. Utilizing what you're supposed to, taking the classes, showing up to appointments, doing all that, and getting back on your feet. That's what social services is really for, in case none of you people know out there, for all of you non-knowers. Social services is to help you get on your feet, not to live off of it and schmooze off everybody around you and all the taxpayers. The taxpayers are out there to help you get on your feet, not support you. All right, moving along here. I was on social services in my lifetime before you guys, so I'm not talking shit, but I utilized it the right way. I took the classes. I, I did everything I needed to the right way. I never took advantage. I never went out and bought a Cadillac or fancy things with the money I received. I used everything I needed for myself and my child for survival, not to look a certain way. A lot of people out there, straight up handbags, Louis Vuitton handbags, Mercedes and shit, they're fucking collecting from social services. Did you know that you can get housing in Beverly Hills? Yes, you can. If that's where you live and you go to social services there and you put in that's your zip code, they will find you Section 8 housing in Beverly Hills. Bet y'all didn't know that either, huh? Trust me, I research all kinds of shit. If I use something or utilize something, I research it till the end. So you guys are going to get, you know, reliable information here for anyone who catches this. You know, I like to keep the energy of group small because I don't want to get overwhelmed with all the energies, right? Anyhow, this is going to help someone out there. You use social services the right way. Trust me, you will heal properly. You will move forward properly and you will have more than enough in the future. All of you who take advantage of social services, food stamps, all that shit, watch. That shit's going to be taken when you're at your highest and all you have the most bills of your life. That shit's going to be taken away and your world's going to crumble down because spirit even sees, knows what you're doing and spirit won't let you get away from it or what it, let you get away with it. All right. There we go. <laughs> I had to let that out. But y'all, a lot of you out there know that shit is true. Okay. I ain't even talking shit. That's for reals. For real, for real. So somebody may have been down in the dumps, prayed to spirit. Spirit came through somehow and that was enough for this person to realize that, yeah, God is real. Spirit is real. You know, there is a higher source up there, you know, whether it's God, universe, angels, whatever, whatever you call it. You know, me, I kind of jump back and forth between spirit, God and universe. So, you know, it's all the same to me. Um, but, uh, it, you know, it's a higher source, right? And so because this turned around for this person, somebody has turned to, you know, religion or belief. They, be they believe now. They're like, oh, like they've seen that miracle, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, how much time did this take? Oh, my gosh. 13 minutes for three cards? Sorry, you guys. But it, th that was a message. And, you know, that's what the random reads are. Random reads are like, spirit is like pushing me or slapping me in the back of the head saying, Hey, you got to do this. <laughs> I mean, not, you know, I don't know why it came out that way. Well, sometimes I need a slap in the back of the head like that. <laughs> yeah, not too hard though. Okay. Anyways. So that is the basic gist of what is going on here. So let's find out if we can find, go dig a little bit deeper into this story. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be going into town today and I almost went into town without doing this and I got a little smack in the back of the head. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I guess we can't right now. So, all right. <laughs> all right, you guys. 
let's see what else is going on here for this reading today. Why Spirit wanted me to use these cards and the gypsy cards and bring this message. There's something important. There's an important message here for somebody. If you resonate with any of that stuff, like you don't have to resonate with losing something, but you could resonate with unexpected joy and then being like, oh my God, God exists. You know, something like that. That could resonate. Um, but yeah, you know, even if you just get the unexpected joy alone, or if, you know, you just decide one day and wake up and say, I believe, you know, that could resonate uh, with somebody. If it does, then, you know, this reading could resonate. It, there, maybe there's a message for you here. Let's see. I'll tell you what, all that shit resonates with me. <laughs> so, uh, you know. All right. And I don't usually read for myself, but I'm starting to be able to understand my own reading. So, you know. I don't say that anymore. I don't say I don't read for myself. I, I do now. And I believe everybody should learn. Mm -hmm. All right. We got the four of cups. Right. That's just the first card. This could be the energy of uh, you. The person watching. You may want to make an offer. You may think you missed an offer. It's not in the reverse. So you may still want to be making an offer. You know? Hold on, you guys. One sec. Okay, sorry, you guys. I actually... You know, the trailer, it really attracts a lot of attention. Okay? I didn't know it was going to. So people, they drive by, and they, oh, they're they always curious about it. So I had to go out there because I had another person who was curious. But it was somebody that I knew. I had met a couple days ago right here because he was curious. He met Brian and me. Older gentleman also a veteran. I meet a lot of veterans and you know, I just stop by to say hello, <laughs> you know? And, and like I tell you guys, um, when I'm out here, my ultimate goal is when I meet people on the road is to spread light and love, right? Happiness and joy. And I tell people, you know, like my last words to him, or if I don't see you again, cause I'm leaving tomorrow. Cause I am, I'm leaving here tomorrow. I wish you abundance and happiness and joy and light, long life and God bless you. People love to hear that. Whether you like to believe it or not, or you feel embarrassed to say it or whatever, people like to hear that and they like to hear it and they like to hear it coming from a genuine space, right? And I'm genuine whenever I say it. I do wish that for everybody. Except one day, and this is the one spot that it happened out of all my 10 months in traveling, did not happen. But in this spot, it did. Somebody came and they brought me something, you know, bag of foods and things. And I was like, thank you, thank you. It was a lady. And we got to talking and then she said it. I don't believe in God. I'm spiritual, but I don't believe in God. And I was like, I felt like, oh, 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 oh. I felt like somebody was choking me. Like, what the? I can't, what? You know, that was a shock to me, you guys. I've never, I don't think I've ever even, I don't think I met an atheist person either. I don't even, I don't, I've never in my, in front of me ever met anybody who doesn't believe in God. That was like my first time. And I was like, oh, no, I told her, oh, that was my reaction. Like, oh, no way. I'm, what do you mean? I'm like, how do you think that you are alive right now? You, she's like, I'm keeping myself alive. And I was just like, oh my God. And you know what? The one thing I have learned in my journey of healing is don't argue with ignorance. You know, I, I had my comeback like, why, how, why do you think? And then she started telling me and then I, I said something else and she still fought it. And I said, you know what, please do not look up my name on Facebook or anything like that. Please do not communicate with me any longer. And I just turned around and walked away because when I met her, things were going kind of good. And she, and you have a Facebook? I was like, yeah. And I gave her my Facebook and my name and you know, she'll probably see this video cause she'll probably start stalking or whatever. But lady, if you are, you need God in your life, lady. You really do. You sounded down and out as it is. 
but you were giving to me because you thought I was down and out. And I appreciate that. And so does God. You just need to know that he, d I don't, I don't even know how to say to you, lady. Anyhow, let's continue. All right. Somebody was okay. And I, I, I can exactly pick up. I, somebody is either going to miss out on an offer or somebody's going to want to make someone an offer. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody's going to make someone an offer because it's not in the reverse. Okay. And it's going to be a success, you guys. You see that? That shit was sitting there the whole time I was out there talking and with this guy. And I just, I wanted to show him my appreciation. And I wanted to say, God bless you to him. And you know what he said? God bless you right back. <laughs> Everybody I say that to, they all usually say it right back. Yeah. That's how I know I'm around a good people. And, you know, sometimes you'll... You know what? No, not everybody. I've said this to some people and they're just like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Those ones, I really do try to show a little bit of extra love and light. But like I said, you can't argue with ignorance. Let If you can't say a few words to try to show this person or get them to understand something, give up right there. Just don't, don't keep it going. Don't waste your time. You know, you can only do so much. Don't fight it. Guaranteed spirit will bring uh, some enlightenment to that woman. And I feel that way only because she crossed my path. What else do we have for this story? So basically, if this is a five card spread, which is not because I'm going to throw out a lot of cards, this would be your energy who's watching you may want to make an, up, an offer to somebody. The person you want to make an offer to, the energy they're in, is success. They're having success in their life. Okay? If that were the way we were going. What else we got going on here? We're going to pull a heck of a lot more than five cards, I'll tell you that. But if that was the case, right? What's the next card? Next few cards are, you know, in this story. I like these cards because they're very, like, slippery, so they're good to shuffle, and it would appear that they would want to just fly out easier, but, and they would fly out easier, but Spirit's looking for the card! <laughs> that was too much of a chunk, I'm going to put it back, but we did get one card out, and the card we got was the Ace of Swords in the reverse, okay? So the potential, if that were the case of the situation, would be that somebody is a liar, or there is a lie going to be presented to someone. So somebody might be bringing in an offer, but it might be a lie. Because they're not lying about success. Success is there. That is it. And that is all. So whoever might be making an offer might be the liar. So I'm just saying to you, okay? Watch out, whoever this is. Uh, if you are in this energy, if you are the liar... <laughs> God knows what you're doing. Spirit knows. And so does the person. This person will know too. Because God will show them. Because they're all about success. Do you think that God is not going to let a successful people successfully see your lie? I doubt it. Wow, the message is already getting really deep. What's the next card? Seven of Cups. So somebody might even come in and be like, oh, you're the one. I know it's you. Let's get together. And they're lying. They have all other options. They're exploring those other options. They could be even telling the other options the same shit. Oh, you're the only one. <laughs> it's kind of like I seen a post one time on Facebook. I thought it was so funny. It was a while back and it was like... Uh, uh, guys will be like texting or doing things or calling at like 1111 or 222 or synchronistic numbers to make other people think that, oh, it's a spiritual thing. You know, they're, they, it's like they plan it. <laughs> like, you know, these karmics, they're like, okay, this is a spiritual person. I got to get them. So right when 1111 hits, I'm going to text them. 
hey, how's it going? You know, shit like that. There are fake spiritualists out there, you guys. are They're faking it because they want to appear to be a certain way. So they, it's like they have alarms on. I'm getting someone has a freaking alarm on their phone for like 11-11, uh, 222-333, and 444. <laughs> How absurd. Let me get the final card. Yeah, there's, I, you know what? There's people like that out there. I saw a post like that. If there was a post like that, then that means that there are people like that, you know? And I have a feeling somebody out there is doing that. Five of Swords. I told you. Five of Swords. I told you. Liar. You fucking liar. Whoever this is. Right? It doesn't have to be you, the viewer. It could be the person you're dealing with. You fucking liar. Excuse my, uh, you know. Wow. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. So that would be the outcome. Realizing the deception, the lies, and all that shit. If we were doing a five-card spread. But since we're not, the next card is the King of Swords. And this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is trying to make an offer to somebody who's successful. He's going to be honest. He's a businessman. He's intelligent. He's in the upright. Thank goodness. This guy also, by the way, is the emperor. Okay. So the emperor is going to make an offer to somebody who's very successful. But the rest of the cards are shit, right? So let's see. <laughs> and the reason why this... Okay, I told you the story is going to turn around, you guys. It already is. This is what has happened in the past. Somebody lied to somebody. Somebody said, you're my only one. They lied. They weren't the only one. They had a bunch of options and they were deceptive and lying. It was this King of Swords. Guess what happened to him? Right? Remember? Ecclesiastic. Lekej in Hungarian. Yeah. So he was the one that did that shit. And he is the one mourning over this because why? Because he freaking lied. He knows he did liar. That's how my DM used to say it. Liar. So I'm saying it right back. Liar. Because <laughs> I know you're watching. And I know you're heartbroken too over this. You shouldn't have done that, you know? You shouldn't have been all deceptive like that. And now you are experiencing this is somebody. I'm not I'm not talking to my DM anymore. I'm just I'm just talking, okay? Um somebody here is um definitely heartbroken over something you know for sure they were mourning the loss of the relationship because they were a liar they're heartbroken because they treated somebody like an option right yeah yippers okay let's see what's next And, you know, for all you DMs out there who think that your D DF doesn't know, you know, she knows, dude. <sighs> Only the strong-willed survive. I don't know why I needed to say that. I know I said that in a reading previous. In this situation, only the strong willed will survive. I don't know what that means. Only the strong will survive. The strong will will survive. I'm also getting strong enough to speak the truth because there's a bunch of lies right here. Mm -hmm. Can you get another card? Well, that's too many. Why is this? Somebody's got a lot to say, you know, but you gotta, you know, fuck. One step at a time. Okay. And so, you know, this person who's heartbroken, maybe they didn't realize, you know, they realize 
something now. Somebody here may either not want to fight for this anymore or somebody has been enlightened to some negative activity that somebody did because this is also the sun in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This king also feels that this is irreparable. Like it cannot be fixed. Why? Because of the lies and the deception and the heartbreak and the hurt that somebody has caused. This is the front and center card. This is the whole reason of this whole reading. Deception. Maybe that's what I'll just call it. Deception. Period. This guy feels like there's no healing here. And whoever he makes the offer to, it might just be refused, you know. Somebody is tired of this person's bullshit. This emperor, right? Or this emperor. Or, or, right? All this shit happened to the emperor. And he's fucking mourning a loss over uh, some sort of heartbreak. Possibly realizing he was deceived and that he doesn't have any more fight left in him. Uh, he thinks that whoever he left in the past before he got deceived is irreparable. Because of all the deception that was done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know so now someone is tripping out they can't wait any longer they're like oh my god I gotta go fix this is it too late that's what I feel like someone's thinking is it too late right if, if they didn't believe I don't think they would be going through this if they didn't believe and weren't going through this I don't think they would ever realize that they fucked up I think they would still be in that kind of negative, low vibrational, like, oh, I can't ever do wrong. That's because some people, they do fucked up shit and they don't even realize that it's wrong. It's because their upbringings were so fucked up. They weren't taught the right way. Right. Yeah. And so that's why someone's like, oh, my God, they got enlightened to something. Absolutely. You know, the sun, the re the sun in the upright is like enlightenment to something good. You realize, you fix your life, you move forward. And then the, not, the sun in reverse, you know, I'm feeling is, oh my God, I did that. I fucked it up. I, you know, that's what the sun in reverse is, is realizing that, oh shit, somebody did something fucked up. And that might be this king of swords thinking that, that they did that to themselves or to the situation. I kind of like how the roundy is, the, the mat is roundy because I can like, I don't know, the reading is different. <laughs> oh, and see? No, that's right, that's right. Okay. What else is going on here? Ooh, we got the last three cards. Okay. okay. Eight of Pentacles. So because all this shit happened to this person, somebody's definitely going to uh, work on themselves right now, work on their craft. It could be this King of Swords trying to figure out how they can fix this, you know, how they can heal it. Because right now, I don't th think that there's any healing that can actually happen. Four of Swords in reverse. Somebody, this guy, whatever that he did to fuck something up in the past, they want to bring it back. Something that has ended already. Not what they recently went through, but something right before that or before that. Uh, something, you know, in the past that happened, right? That was dead and gone. This person wants to resurrect that shit. But I do see that they're working on themselves first. 
They're also trying to uh, get over the heartbreak that they went through. They're trying to remember the lies that they said. So when they do come back, they can say, look, I know I lied about this and that and this and that and this and that and those and them. So they're trying to come back because they want to clearly identify all the things and deceptions they did to someone so they can come clean. <laughs> wow. Can't believe it. And I think the reason why they're doing this, you guys, I have a card in my hand. I don't know what it is yet still because I'm still talking. But um, uh, what I'm thinking is that this person is um, is doing this because they know that the person that they're coming towards will know they're lying if they do lie. And that's why they're trying to remember all their... And it's so hard for a liar to remember all, you know, the lies. They got so many lies that they don't know which one, you know, it's... I'm telling you. King of Pentacles. Okay? King of Pentacles. So now the story changes. All right? This King of Swords may have uh, been lied to or may have been lying and telling all this bullshit to this King of Pentacles, right? This King of Pentacles is healing after something and trying to resurrect. This person could have lied about somebody in this King of Pentacles life to make them turn their back on them. This could be their friend or a family member that deceived them and Lied to them, deceived them, broke their heart. Oh, and they did that when this person gained success. Once that person gained success, they came in, they broke their heart, they deceived them, and the and the situation it died. All right, and now he's a king of pentacles. Yeah. But he still lost something. Remember with this widow, this person, he may have lost a relationship. I don't think he lost money. He could have. But even if he did, because he worked on himself, he is stable. Like, even though the money is short, the person is stable and secure with who he is and believes that, okay, it's okay. I will just keep moving forward and keep building. You know, we all go through ups and downs. This person is stable enough to realize that. This king of swords was real sneaky, trying to come in. And he's an emperor, though. Now, this could be vice versa. It could also be that this king of pentacles was the one working on, you know, this king of swords. Trying to act like they were bringing in healing when it really wasn't. They were after their success. And that success led them to uh, losing something near and dear. Breaking their heart because of lies and deceptions. And then that situation came to an end. But someone here can't wait anymore. They want to resurrect something. You guys got to place who is who in here. I don't know. But the two involved, we have the King of Swords, who is actually the Emperor, and a King of Pentacles, both in the upright. You guys, this could be two brothers. This could be two cousins. This could be family members. This could be two lovers. Male, 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 female, female, female. These could be two females. These could be two sisters who are in their king energy. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, huh? What's at the bottom here? Eight of Swords. Because something here happened, because look, we have, I don't see the Ten of uh, Swords, but I see there's a lot of swords here. Swords and money. And the, and the, the cards that have to do with, with love or emotions are all the bad cards. <laughs> mm-hmm. Eight of Swords, I feel like because of this, because of things going on here, somebody, remember you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest, don't manifest weird stuff into your life. Somebody's going to jail. Somebody might go to jail. 
somebody's going to jail. Some One person is going to jail for the deception that they've caused. Somebody was trying to be sneaky here. Somebody, and this is where this unexpected joy could come from. Whoever ends up in jail or whatever, that's when the unexpected joy, the ending for that person is they're going to jail. The unexpected joy is someone else is going to receive some sort of um, abundance of some sort, right? Money, uh, balance in their life, whatever, right? Uh, um, a job, who knows, a child. Um, but whatever abundance and joy that brings, it pushes them also into becoming more religious because it was like, oh my God, God saved the day. Spirit saved the day. Spirit saved me. You know, whatever, right? So one person will be set free from negative whatever thinking and somebody is going to be confined into dealing with whatever it is is swirling around in their mind all the wrong that they've done. Now it could be this to this person or this to this person. I don't know. Right? But uh, you guys, just see how it resonates. Um, this was not a love reading. This was not a love reading. This was a reading of competition. And I think it's about sibling rivalry, to be honest with you. Some sort of sibling rivalry or be something between friends. And it didn't turn out so well. Okay. Somebody, you know, this king of Pentac uh king of uh, swords right here, who actually is the emperor... If he is not the emperor, he may have... Gr no, he's the emperor. I'm sorry. In this deck, that's who he is. I just can't deny that, okay? Um, if there is only one person involved here dealing with all kinds of problems and not another male, it could be another female, or this person uh, becomes uh, in an energy of the king of pentacles and ends up healing themselves because before they might have been too harsh and mean and whatever, right? So it could also be... King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or I'm going to add here, because the Emperor is in the energy of Aries also in the Tarot, we have those, all those signs can be involved here as somebody signs. Somebody, uh, one single individual could have a multitude of those signs in their chart. They could be two separate people, whatever, right? <clears throat> all right. If this resonated with you guys, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, right? And also, if by any chance you guys go somewhere and you're throwing something away in the trash, can you please do me a favor and uh, throw any additional trash you see on the side into, you know? If not, you know, just please don't litter. I'm trying to incorporate something positive like that for, you know, our world to uh, provide... Um, healing for our world and I think that's something that I can do here is by suggesting things to help our earth right as a start <laughs> anyhow don't forget you guys keep it true love energy happy friendly loving types we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful right yeah I'm Mona this is Classical Dreams Tarot and I'll talk to you next time